All right, so here's all my jugs. Lots and lots and lots of jugs. So I know I do have some jugs that has tape, tape failure, which is why I wanted to sh share this uh, information with you today. So let's see if I can find it. So far, so good. I've only had one or two and that's had tape failure. <clears throat> so it'll be interesting to see if I can find them. Okay, so I found the one jug that I knew that I had tape failure in. Uh, the other jugs are looking pretty good. So I'm going to show you what tape failure looks like. Alright, I don't know if you can see it here. You see my, my tape did not hold right there. So there's, it opened right on up. So, uh, still a little bit tacky and whatever so what I'm going to do is when it gets a little bit warmer either tomorrow or uh, possibly Friday is I'm just going to simply bring my tape out and um, retape it I am not going to take these jugs inside because once they are outside you do not take them back in um, you want them to stay out here in the environment so uh, yeah once it warms up and th there's no hurry right now because it's still cool so not a lot of things are sprouting right now um, the ground's still frozen so I'm not losing too much condensation because it's all frozen in the ground but what I will do is uh, once it warms up again I'm just gonna retape that area that failed and um, then I'll moisten it, it, the soil a little bit <clears throat> with um, some water and stuff just to make sure we're, st we're still on track with um, being moist as far as the soil um, but you know one like I said uh, the tape failure doesn't happen all the time and from when I'm just walking around my jugs checking on them that one was the only one I really saw um, that had a, a significant amount of tape failure um, none of the other jugs really are showing any. When I did this a couple years ago, my tape failure was almost the entire jug. Uh, not just that one little spot I just showed you, but like the tape on the entire jug was falling off. And uh, so I had to retape the whole jug. And that was, if I remember right, it was almost 50% uh, of, of my jugs that I had to do um, over. And at that time, I think I had 150 jugs at that time. So, yeah. All right, here's another one. We're getting some slight tape, tape failure there. It's starting to come undone a little bit. And I'm noticing that it's mostly around the area there, the handle. There's another one. <clears throat> so, um, and the handles tend to be a really tricky part to tape anyways. Um, I cut around them kind of like you do when you're uh, trying to get uh, fabric to go around a curve as I snip it and it works really well but still sometimes that tape just does not hold and uh, it comes off so instead of freaking out about it and going oh no you know I'm at complete loss here you just fix it and again it's a very simple fix you just on a warmer day just retape them So there you have it. That is how we fix um, issues like tape failure. Uh, it happens. Um, you know, it's a taboo subject because people don't want to think that their tape is going to fail. Um, you know, and that extra work is going to be involved. But um, it happens. And so when it does happen, you just deal with it and move on. Very simple fix. And uh, I just want to share that with you guys. So if it does happen to you, you know what to do. So thanks so much for watching everybody. If you found this video helpful, uh, please uh, give it a big thumbs up. Um, if you like uh, gardening or whatever and uh, you want to follow me along on my journey, hit that subscribe button and it'll let you know when more videos uh, get posted um, as far as uh, gardening or um, sometimes I do uh, health uh, videos like cooking or um, my health journey. Um, but anyways, yeah, just hit that subscribe button and you'll be uh, 
in the loop, so to speak, about my journey here. So I just thank you again for watching, everybody, and I hope your day is wonderfully blessed. Bye.